Let's talk SMA. Skeletal muscle adaptation. Okay. What is SMA about? SMA is about doubling the glycogen storage inside the muscle. Okay. SMA is going to make you a beast on machines. Okay. When you used to recover on 60 RPM on a salt bike, you'll see suddenly it becomes 70 RPM. It's incredible what it does to the energy system. But you need to be responsible with this. This is a neurotechnical overload. We're overloading your nervous system to create the effect. Okay. You're going to feel heat running down your neck and it's going to burn. When you get that feeling that almost feels you want to pass out, then you've hit the spot. Okay. How do we set up? So it starts with four rounds of 30 seconds work and four and a half minutes zone two. Okay. So you're going to be on the assault bike, you're going to go and do a certain RPM at 30 seconds and then for four and a half minutes you're just going to be sitting and riding. You do not jump off the bike. Your natural response is going to be to jump off the bike, you're going to be walking towards the door and you're not going to realize why you're doing it. Okay, get back on the bike. Doesn't matter how it hurts, you're going to lose the stimulation if you jump off the bike. Okay. So, how do we calibrate it? The first thing we want you to do is go 10 to 15 seconds on an assault bike and check what your max RPM is. Don't go do it for 40 seconds or whatever. I want a quick burst. Okay, for 10 seconds really to see what's the maximum. Let's say your RPM is now 100 RPM. Okay. 100 RPM is then where your calculation starts for. You will then go and say, I want 90% of that. So 90 RPM is my holding RPM. My safety RPM is minus 5 RPM from there. Which means my drop out is 85 RPM. That means I'm going to be working at 90 RPM. And I'm going to be failing at 85 RPM. Okay, and how do we start now? If you look at the 30 seconds, do not go and ramp up and shoot past your RPM holding if this is 90 RPM. You're going to die. Okay, take 10 to 12 seconds and ramp it up correctly and hit the RPM spot and hold it out till the end of the 30 seconds. What we don't want is this overshoot, coming back, holding, and then dropping off there. That will lose the stimulation. Okay. So the stimulation is a ramp up, a hold. Okay. If you find you can hold the 90 RPM comfortably, you're allowed to go up one or two RPMs. Okay. But the idea is to make four rounds. If you can keep four rounds and your RPM doesn't fall below the 85 RPM, then you buy yourself another two rounds. You can do six rounds. But only then. The idea is for you, highest possible RPM for six rounds without dropping off too much. Guys, don't sandbag this. Don't, don't take it to a point. If the first time you finished it and the next week, uh, day you have to do SMA again and you're shaking and you're scared, then you know your stimulation was correct. Okay. It hurts. It has to hurt. That is where the overload gets created, there is where the adaptation gets created.